Hi everyone, welcome to Adobe's headquarters in Sydney. Come on in. Come on in. G'day John. Oh sorry, we're not doing some filming. We're doing a little bit of filming. This G'day. is John Shalom. Working for Adobe well. is great, isn't it, John? Mate, every day is a blissful day. It's the best day I can It's the ever best have. day ever. You Except know, the weekends. You know when I started working at Adobe, you know you sign up and you get such great rewards. What everyone get? gets a everyone gets a red Ferrari. Well when no, I, I don't go, I haven't got a red one. Mine's blue. You got a blue one? Yeah. yeah. Well, I got a red one. I wanted a blue one. Yeah. So what today's episode's about is being able to take your Adobe Red Ferrari and change its colour using Photoshop to any colour you like. So if you haven't got a red Ferrari... Can you change my De Chabot, my 2CV from burgundy and black into red? Absolutely. You just and, watch make this... it look, and make it look like a Ferrari. You just, you just watch this episode and you'll wait. find out. I'm looking forward to it. Check it out. really was a stroke of luck running into John Trelaw out there at the Adobe office in Sydney. It's very exciting. Well, this is the Ferrari I was telling you about. It's a red one all right. We all get one uh, around on the driver's side door. There's a great big Adobe logo on there. Anyway, I wanted a blue one. John trelaw has got a blue one. Let's see how we can change the colour of a car like this. We quickly and easily, we're going to learn a lot about the new adjustments panel in Photoshop and we're going to learn a lot about the hue saturation dialog. Let's get started. So uh, here's the new adjustments. The best way to do these is with an adjustment layer. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use the hue saturation uh, button right here. As a matter of fact, let's let's zoom in and, and have a good look. That's the hue saturation right there. So we, we just click that um, and then that gives us a brand new adjustment layer. Uh, it also gives us a layer mask as well, and we'll get back to that in a bit. Okay. When we've got one of these new adjustments, we'll bring this out onto out onto the screen so we can we can have a good look at it. Um, the all of the options appear right here on screen. We have to go into a separate dialog box, so that's that's very exciting too. Now here's the top secret. You you can do this in older versions of Photoshop, but it's, the panel is new. Okay. This button is new too. Um, we want to target just the reds, not the whole image. Okay, so instead of the master, we're going to come out under here and target the reds. Okay, now when we're targeting just the reds, you can see under here it brackets off that area. And if I actually use this turkey baster here and click on the photograph itself or click on the red, it actually targets even more specifically exactly what we're after. So that's great. Now to change the color, grab the hue slider and you can drag it to the left and you can see as we, we drag it over, the hues are all shifting around. You can see they're changing just inside what we've got targeted there. So we can have a, what color did I say we wanted um, uh, my Ferrari? I, I think I was talking about a bluish, sort of purpley one, looks kind of nice. Now if we need to adjust this a little bit more, these little brackets can be moved. These little brackets here, I can move them to out to include more colors or move them back in to reduce the amount of colors that, are, that have been changed. So it's very easy to then you know, expand that out or, or collapse it away and then target a color. Okay, so that's what that's all about. We can add to or subtract from it. Let's zoom back and see how we're going. Okay, so maybe we've got a little bit much. Drag it in. Don't be afraid to play around with this. We kind of need that area there. Move away from these yellows a bit. Get the background in. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, it's not 100%. Don't worry about that because I'm going to show you how to fix that in a minute too. The saturation will desaturate that color a bit. So if it's a little bit full on, you know, you're getting a bit of posterization drop that saturation back and the lightness, well, you can actually make the car a lot darker or a lot lighter. You want to have a, a white Ferrari, that's a bit boring though. So let's drop that back down. I kind of like it around about there. So that looks good. This is going to be editable. We can come back to that later on if we like to. Um, the next thing that we need to know is 
about this mask over here that I mentioned. So if you do get some of the background in, all you need to do is select that mask, grab a black brush, which is what I've got there. So paintbrush, uh, black foreground color, make a nice big brush, and then you can paint off those areas that were affected. And because we've used the hue saturation, you don't need to be super accurate about it because we've got most of it kind of already done, but we just don't want all of those bits there. The other thing that you probably want to do is a nice small brush. You probably don't want these neat little breaks there. You don't want those to be purple, and you don't want these break lights to be purple either. So I'm using a Wacom pen and tablet. That's why my brushing is so kind of accurate. Uh, makes it uh, a little bit easier, a little bit a little bit of a mistake there, so I just flip back over to white using the X key, and then there we go. Well, the Ferrari is looking pretty amazing, but I've got some other um, examples for you just while we're here. So just to recap, you've got something, you want to change the color of it, come over to the adjustments panel, hue, saturation, target, not the master, but you know, perhaps a yellow in this case, click, on the yellow, use the slider, and then you can change that, those particular colors. And then you can use the minus slider here just to remove some of the colors that you actually don't want to change out there, and then away you go. So great way of changing colors like that. Okay, last example we've got here um, is our model. Okay. So just to be a little bit more accurate in this case, this is a great way of doing it. Grab the hue saturation, done that, step one. Target a color, let's say yellows. Now I learned this one off Jack Davis, the world famous Jack Davis, this is great. Collapse all of these sliders, zoom in, um, so you can see what's going on. Collapse all of these sliders together like that, form a little posse out of them, I guess. Grab the turkey base and then click on the color. And you see it snaps directly to the color that you're after. And then when you shift these sliders around, you're in fact just going to be targeting a specific color. So if I want to change the hair color there, yellow it is. Now, then I can expand it back out. So if I need to include, you know, a few more yellows, I can do that, drag this out a little bit that way. That's not really doing much for me drag it out that way, include a few more colors. There you go. Now we can have, you know, whatever color kind of hair we like, or you want to be a little bit cruel, perhaps you can make the hair gray, drop it back, maybe make it a little darker. There we have it. We made a very quick change, very uh, easily to all of those. That's all about hue saturation. I really hope you enjoyed today's tips. I really love my new Ferrari. It's, it's great. We'll see you next time, guys and girls.